Hi, I'm Ricky Barnes from the PGA Tour, and you're watching Breaking Par. You are watching Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. Breaking Par. And you are watching Breaking Par. It's Breaking Par! Every hole really gives you the opportunity uh, to take in all of the beauty that's here. It's like playing golf in a national park. Welcome to Seven Canyons, the IMAX of golf. We're really excited to kind of share with you a couple of the most spectacular holes here at Seven Canyons. We're gonna start on our fourth hole, which we really call our signature hole. Most dramatic hole out here at Seven Canyons. We've got about a 90 foot elevation drop between the tee box and the green. This is where everybody pulls out the camera, wants to really come out and take a, take a good pick. You can just spin around. There's a good view in every direction. I think in ranking this against par threes in Arizona, this certainly ranks right at the top. You know, as you're approaching this hole, you're heading toward this tee box, you're kind of thinking, oh, there's a little green over there that's gonna be kind of a short little par three. Anytime there are switchbacks in a cart path, you know you're gonna be doing some elevation climb. And that's what you really get here. You kind of start working the switchbacks up to the parking spot, and then it's a pretty good little climb on up to get up to the tee boxes. The yardages range from, from our white tees, our member tees, plays about 150. There's no wind, it plays shorter than that. The blue tee, our middle tee, that plays about 160, 165, and then the back tee from 175 to 180. From up here, it doesn't look like there's much going on on that green, but there, there's a lot of movement on it. This bluff to our uh, left here, that influences a lot. I mean, the, everything breaks here for, away from what's called Rachel's Knoll. So everything kind of moves from the left-hand side of the green toward the back right corner. The challenge here is usually the wind. If there's no breeze up here, it usually plays about two clubs shorter with the elevation change. I've hit everything off of this tee box from a gap wedge to a four hybrid, just depending on the velocity of the wind. Why don't we give this hole a little shot here? So I'm gonna play it from our middle tee, from the blue tee. Today we do have the rare occasion where we don't have any wind. So uh, I'm gonna hit a little nine iron off of this tee and uh, hopefully get it somewhere on that green surface down there. Great shot. <laughs> So we're standing on the approach here to our 11th green. This is another one of my favorite holes out here at Seven Canyons. Weisskopf has a way of giving you short-ish par fours that really draw you into, you know, trying to hit the big ball, get up close to the green, have a nice little short pitch into it. This is an example of that. As you can see, kind of over my shoulder, the flag on this green is twice the height of a normal flag. Normal flag is like nine feet. This is like 18 feet tall. That's because from down in the fairway, you can't see this green at all. It's the opposite of a false front. Most false fronts repel the ball back down off of the green, back toward the golfer. This is a false front in reverse. It is a roll down to the green, and it tends to repel balls to the back of the green and off of the back of the green. I was taken by this hole, my very first visit here to Seven Canyons. You stand back on that tee box, and that's the, the backdrop. I mean, that's what you're looking into. And I can remember clearly hitting that first tee shot and seeing that ball up there and against those red rocks just hanging in the air, coming back down. It's a very dramatic hole from tee all the way to green. It's a difficult hole to kind of club on off of the tee because you're really kind of seduced into taking as much club as you can and getting as close to the green as you can. It can play as long as 350 yards from the back tee to as short as 300 yards from the white tee. So you just want to make sure that the strategy is put it in a place off of the tee where you got a full spinning shot into this green. And then always take note that that flag is twice the height of a normal flag. If the pin is up in front, you just take your medicine, hit it past the flag and putt back up the hill. But if you're just looking at a little bit of the pin over the, the rise there, it means you've got a green light. You can go and throw a ball back there and try to stop it close to the flag. The first time I came to Seven Canyons was, uh, I came up to do a feasibility study for the developer and uh, came up here before the golf course was here uh, and um, I thought I would, was, had made a wrong turn, to tell you the truth. Driving out here, going through all of the, 
you know, the National Forest and seeing all the trails and all of that and getting closer and closer to where I was supposed to be, I thought I was lost for sure. Uh, but when I very first came out here, one of the first places they took me was to where the practice facility is. And I always talk about our, our, our driving range being the only destination driving range in the country. Uh, it really is uh, maybe the most beautiful spot on the whole golf course is our practice facility. So they took me down, they put me in an old pickup truck. There weren't any roads or anything back into there yet. Um, and when I stood on the spot that was going to be the practice facility, it was like an overwhelming kind of sense of awe. And I could just picture myself being here kind of into my sunset years, giving lessons to the members and just fading into the sunset. And 14 years later, here I am. Great, it's a fun little side story too. Beautiful. Yeah, awesome. Cut, cut, cut. It's the longest shadow ever created in automotive history. Yet somehow, we always manage to leave it behind. The new Porsche 911. Ever faster. Ever smarter. Ever ahead. Hi, I'm professional golfer Blair O'Neill, and you're watching Breaking Par. Have you seen the new hit golf show, Breaking Par? Want to know where you can see all the episodes? Yeah. Go to BreakingPar.net to see all the episodes. Oh, yeah. While you're there, join the Breaking Par team and be the first to see new content when it drops. Oh. Might have started a new addiction. BreakingPar.net, where we look at the game through a different lens. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Escape to Torreon Golf Club. Whether seeking cooler temperatures or a respite from daily life, Torreon is the perfect spot to relax and unwind. Set among ponderosa pines and meandering streams at an elevation of 6,200 feet, Torreon's 36 holes of award-winning golf will take your breath away, while family-friendly amenities will keep the entire family engaged. Just a short drive from Phoenix, Tucson, and Albuquerque, the perfect getaway is closer than you think. Visit Torreon.com to learn more. Hi guys, I'm Andrea Fogel and welcome back to the 19th hole. This series is all about finding the best of the best post round hangout spots in the valley, from traditional 19th holes at the golf course to popular spots off the golf course. Today we're in zip code 85139, checking out the Arroyo Grill at Auction Southern Dune Golf Club. Just a scenic drive south and you find yourself on 320 acres of manicured greens and remarkable desert sky sunsets. As one of the best golf courses in Arizona, this location offers a welcoming and laid-back ambiance suitable for everyone. When the weather is perfect, and it usually always is, the Arroyo Grill patio is the perfect place to take in the remarkable desert sky sunset with the green expanse of golf course taking center stage. The laid-back and welcoming atmosphere with the gorgeous desert sky sunset and Estrella Mountains in the distance, it's a prime location to grab a bite to eat, drink, and relax. You can come to the Arroyo Grill and have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, whether you're golfing or not. So it's a standalone restaurant and arguably the best restaurant in Maricopa. We try to highlight the Auction Indian community's culture. You'll see as you're dining in the Arroyo Grill, we have baskets framed on the wall. That's part of the art and part of the culture we're trying to display. We also have unique items on the menu. I would say our menu is temporary American cuisine. The featured menu items, we're gonna do our Arroyo popover, house smoked wings, and then we have our seafood cake sandwich. It's the best around. Trust me on this one. These dishes taste as good as they sound. But before we head into the kitchen, I first wanted to post up at the bar and get a sip of their famous signature drink, the Dune Sunset. Danielle, our bartender for the day, is going to be taking us step by step on how to make this delicious drink. Let's get started. Well, today we're making the Dune Sunset, which is our version of the Tequila Sunrise. So we're gonna start off with some ice, and then we're gonna add a little Casa Amigos Blanco, and a touch of cream de Cassis. I like the free pour of the tequila. <laughs> And then we have lime juice, soda water, a touch of grenadine, and a splash of OJ. We're gonna shake this up. And pour it in. And we're gonna float with a Captain Morgan flag and a straw. And this is our Dune Sunset. Enjoy. Thank you, Danielle. Look how cute it is. 
little topper. I'm getting a little bit of the tequila, a little bit of the Captain Morgan on top. Cheers. <laughs> I have my dune sunset thanks to Danielle, and now it's time I head to the kitchen. Welcome to the Royal Girl Kitchen. I am here with the famous chef, Neil, the brains behind this incredible menu. What are we making today, chef? Well, today what we'll be doing is seafood cake that's made with shrimp and smoked salmon. Am I gonna be making this? You are gonna be making this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take our pre-seasoned shrimp, throw it in the bowl, and then okay. go ahead and take your butter, put it in there. We're gonna turn this on as it cooks it'll form the uh, the base of the patty itself. Okay. Go ahead and add the lemon juice. Woohoo! That'll make it smoother. After it's blended, we'll transfer it into a bowl. Pour the cream in. Now add okay. your smoked salmon. All right, this is pretty cool. I don't get to uh, be behind the scenes like this too much. Actually making the food. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> And then from there, we just pan sear it and finish it in the oven. That's it. Perfect. What's this sauce right here? This is a lemon aioli, and underneath is a sriracha aioli. So combine them, and it's uh, spicy mayo. There it is. Can I have a bite? Sure. Oh, my God. Mm. That's Not phenomenal. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Not really bad. good. It all ties together really nicely. So what's the most important quality about being a chef, especially here at the Arroyo Grill? To be a good chef, it has to be who you are. You cannot fake this. There it is. Woo! It, de that. it defines me. So. You have a uh, science background. Yes, that's true. So what are your hobbies? Uh, golf and gambling. That's and it. And culinary scientist. Oh uh, yeah. Can we get chef a drink? Yeah. He's sweating bullets. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Hey, there you go. Go for it. No knife and fork. No knife and fork here. Here we go. Oh, cool. I think we're officially best friends. <laughs> I love fry bread. Mm. Well, the lettuce, the cheese, yeah. the meat, sauce on top, all of it, delicious. And just for the heck of it, I feel like we should both eat a wing too. Sure. Here we go. Now I can even show you how to how to eat one. So we twist the first bone, pop that out, grab the other bone, twist it, pop that out, boneless. Blown. So the wings are an absolute must try when you're here. The seafood cake, all made from scratch, so delicious, so creative. And then the traditional Indian fry bread. Can't go wrong with that choice, right? Right, absolutely. Well, thank you for having me back here. I'm going to head to the patio to enjoy a milkshake. Whether you find yourself in the Maricopa area or wrapping up a round of golf here at Auction Southern Dunes Golf Club, this is a prime location for the entire family and you cannot leave without having one of these milkshakes. They are delicious. Thanks for watching another episode of Breaking Par's 19th Hole. We'll see you next time. Good morning, Frank. Let's go make more dreams come true. For you are the duo man. At golfers around the world, count on you to help them hit the ball farther and straighter. Golf bless you, Frank, for your relentless pursuit of low compression technology. That's a 29, another 29. For decades of drop tests and data gathering. Of course, some data, huh, Frank? For the ball that's still first and soft. Go again. Let's do this. Wilson Staff Duo, the ball that started it all. Want to play Arizona's best courses at the best available rates and avoid those annoying booking fees? TrueGolfAZ.com is all you need for Arizona's best courses at the best available rates all over the state. TrueGolfAZ.com features Arizona's most iconic courses, including True North, Boulders Resort, Whirlwind, Auction, Southern Dunes, and more. Come on! Life's too short to play subpar golf. Visit TrueGolfAZ.com to book your next tee time today.
The life you've been waiting for is here in the beautiful desert mountains of Wickenburg Ranch. Embodying a unique sense of freedom, Wickenburg Ranch is a place where everyday life is a remarkable life, a playful life, a life of luxury, a life where you create memories, not just look back on them, all in a place where neighbors not only know your name, but welcome you with a hello. Wickenburg Ranch, close enough to live away from it all. To say golf is just a game is like saying an astronaut is just a pilot. Golf is not a sport, it's a way of life. And the more young Americans we can introduce to golf, the better this great country will be. Not too long ago, Breaking Par attended the Arizona State Junior Golf Championship. You wanna talk about feeling optimistic about the health of golf in this country? Go hang out with some of the best junior golfers in the world. The future is rock solid. Welcome to the Arizona Junior State Championship. It's a 36 hole stroke play event over two days. Kids have to qualify, it's the best of our best players, top junior golfers in the state, and it's really the best of the best in the country. Future college stars and possibly even future professional golfers. A couple former junior golfers now on tour include Cheyenne Woods, Charlie Belgium, and Shez Reevy, who played through the JJ program. The juniors that win it will get a full exemption to the American Junior Golf Association, so there's really some great benefits to the kids that excel at this event and the ones that win it. Let's go! Hi, I'm Caden Christofferson. Hi, I'm Ashley Many, and I'm the Arizona State Junior Champion. Champion. Guys, remember the name Ashley Many. Her friends call her Smashley. She plays golf on another planet. Today I won by 11 strokes, and I don't know, it feels good went by that many. I was hanging closer, making more putts. And today I just kind of, I don't know, kind of want, like winged it. I don't even know how it happened. Like I made three birdies in a row. Yeah. She just came out here and really tore it up. She's probably one of the top 10, top 15 juniors in the country. She's been our player of the year the last three years, and she's just finished her sophomore year at Xavier Prep, and she's given a verbal commitment to Arizona State University. When Ashley started playing JJ, she was really a quiet person, but now she's kind of blossomed into an individual that really interacts with a lot of the other juniors. It's been fun watching Ashley grow as a young player to someone who's really dominating our field and become really one of our players to watch on the national level. The Junior Golf Association of Arizona's mission statement is perfectly clear. Educate, motivate, and inspire Arizona's youth through golf. Many kids start when they're 8, 9, 10 years old and playing through high school until they turn 18. Almost all our members at least go on to college, probably 30 plus a year earn college golf scholarships. You know, they learn the skills through the JGA and the skills on the course that can take them through life and help them grow professionally and even personally. Really, it's all about having fun for these kids, and that's what the game's all about. Who's your favorite professional golfer? Uh, I'd have to go with Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth. Um, Dustin Johnson. Uh, Justin Thomas. I'd have to say Roy McIlroy. Probably Henrik Stenson. How would you describe your golf game in one word? It would be interesting. <laughs> um, wild. I would say my golf game is intense. It could be intense in a good way or a bad way. It just depends on how the day's going. Uh, uh, consistent. Inconsistent. Powerful, I don't know, I, I hit it pretty far. Golf as a whole, mm -hmm. as a four letter word, as a game, how does it set young people like yourself up for success? In my own experience, golf has really uh, helped me become the person I am. My golf game is a mirror image of who I am off the course. Being a golfer, it's just you. You can't blame anything else for anything that happens. So it teaches us to just be responsible for ourselves. I just think it like teaches you how to like, I don't know, I guess like stay calm even like when like bad things are happening. I think it's it's good for life, just a good analogy, you know, just to work hard and have the right attitude. And I don't think his victory sunk in until he got home. Caden couldn't stop looking at his name on the scoreboard. 
you gotta deal with it. You're always gonna get into trouble, but ultimately it's how you deal with it, and that's what golf teaches you. You get good breaks, good breaks from bad shots and bad breaks from good shots, but no matter what, you gotta play the ball as it lies. So that's uh, that's like the game of life, as honestly. You, you get good breaks, you get bad breaks, you just gotta keep moving, keep pushing. To quote Jack Nicholas, a kid grows up a lot faster on the golf course. Golf teaches you how to behave. Your Arizona Golf Association has been serving Arizona for almost a century. Founded in 1923, it serves as the official governing body of amateur golf in Arizona. The AGA hosts over 50 golf tournaments featuring USGA qualifiers, state and city championships, and the popular AGA Golf Days. For their over 50,000 members, the AGA provides great benefits such as access, special discounts, and an official USGA handicap. Get your membership today by going to azgolf.org and get into the game with your Arizona Golf Association. If you've been watching golf tournaments on television at all lately, you've been starting to see more and more animations, tracers, and data points overlaid on the TV footage. Today, Cool Clubs is going to explain how they do it, what these graphic and data points mean, and share with us how the average golfer can get their hands on some of this technology. All right, so first we're going to have Scott hit a couple balls for us and show us what these things do. So you can see on the screen, that's his flight and angle and how it's coming back into the ground. Kind of very similar to what you see on TV. We got TrackMan here and Foresight. TrackMan is radar based, which means it's tracking all the way to it lands. Foresight's camera based, it's actually taking photos of the ball taking off and then calculating how far it goes. They both have advantages and disadvantages, but they're the two top in their industry and that's the technology they're using to do that. Essentially some of the numbers we're gonna explain real quickly here, what these things mean. Obviously club head speed is how fast the club is going at impact. Second number here is ball speed, that's how fast the ball is actually moving as it comes off the club head. Smash factor is the relationship between those two. Basically, that's how solid you hit it. Launch angle is the angle it takes off on. Spin rate is how much backspin is on the ball. Carry is the maximum amount of carry you get where it lands. And obviously, total is calculated on how much it rolls at that point as well. And you've got here club path, which is either inside out, outside in, or straight down the middle. Obviously, most of us slice it, so it's outside in. Attack angle is the angle you're coming into the ball. And then height is obviously the apex or the maximum height it gets to. When talking about launch angle, which again, you'll see on TV sometimes, a cool way to explain it is with a stream of water from a hose. Launch angle and spin rate create the trajectory, which is kind of illustrated by this hose. Pressure on the hose, basically your club head speed or ball speed it transfers to. But for everybody, there's an optimal launch. And that about is the optimal launch. You'll see as I go higher and launch it higher, the ball actually starts going shorter. And the opposite is true, which people don't understand, is as I start hitting it lower than the optimal, which is here, the ball again starts carrying lower. So getting that optimal launch angle is a big part of distance, and that's why they're showing it on TV and why they're trying to explain what the tour players do and how they optimize their distance. We know the technology behind the stuff we see on TV is super expensive, so the guys compared some more affordable consumer-grade devices side by side on the range. I certainly wouldn't get fitted on them, but for a day-to-day -day person and stuff, there's some smaller launch monitors. This one's under 500 bucks. It's made by Swing Caddy. Numbers are pretty accurate on average, for sure. Not super detailed. The other one is FlightScope. A little more integrated. It goes into your phone, gives you all the readings and stuff. You can store information and stuff like that. You know, it's under a thousand bucks, but you know, reasonable for a you know daily use kind of thing. You know, under a thousand bucks, under five hundred bucks, north of twenty thousand, the same as this. I mean, they're all pretty decent. I mean, like I said, they're not uh, the state of the art like these expensive units are, but they're certainly going to help your game. So, if you want to check the numbers on TV, see how you compare to these tour players and stuff, you know, one of these small units is going to give you plenty of information, and uh, it'll be interesting to see. Let's check out some content from our fans. It's the social media spotlight.
The Breaking Park crew loves hearing from our fans, and we want to put you on our show. Do you have an amazing golf shot caught on camera? Do you have a ridiculous trick shot that you want the world to see? Or maybe you just filmed a hilarious moment in golf. Oh, you broke it. Send video submissions to fans at breakingpar.net for a chance to be featured on our next show. Or hit us up on Instagram at breakingpartv. You already know the most important part of your game is the equipment. Your equipment should be tailor fit to you and only you. So why wouldn't you get fit by the best in the industry? Cool Clubs is the future of golf. They have an advanced shaft database that complements their proprietary fitting software and gives fitters the tools and data needed to provide unparalleled service and performance. Whether you're a tour pro or an amateur player, revive your passion and insert yourself into the future of golf. Only at Cool Clubs. Escape to Torreon Golf Club. Whether seeking cooler temperatures or a respite from daily life, Torreon is the perfect spot to relax and unwind. Set among ponderosa pines and meandering streams at an elevation of 6,200 feet, Torreon's 36 holes of award-winning golf will take your breath away, while family-friendly amenities will keep the entire family engaged. Just a short drive from Phoenix, Tucson, and Albuquerque, the perfect getaway is closer than you think. Visit Torreon.com to learn more. The rustic elegance of Arroyo Grill in Maricopa is apparent the moment you walk through the door. Arroyo Grill provides a laid-back dining experience with sweeping views of the Australia Mountains and the Troon Managed Auction Southern Dunes Golf Club. At Arroyo Grill, enjoy breakfast, lunch, dinner, along with daily specials and signature drinks. With exceptional service, a contemporary menu, and perfect ambiance, Arroyo Grill should be the next restaurant you visit. Learn more at arroyogrill.com. Your table is waiting.